you care about the people you work for and you care about every one of your clients, but you refuse to let people know. Is there a question? I just want to know why. Just let it go. No, you are under arrest. Then hold me in contempt. For God's sakes, what the hell happened to you? What kind of damage was done to you? Caring only makes you weak. Law 25. Recreate yourself. Do not accept the roles that society foists on you. Recreate yourself by forging a new identity, one that commands attention and never bores the audience. Be the master of your own image, rather than letting others define it for you. Understand this. The world wants to assign you a role in life, and once you accept that role, you are doomed. Your power is limited to the tiny amount allotted to the role you have selected, or have been forced to assume. An actor, on the other hand, plays many roles. Forge in your identity, one of your own making, one that has no boundaries assigned to it by the envious and resentful world. Your new identity will protect you from the world, precisely because it's not you, it is a costume you put on and take off. You need not take it personally, and your new identity sets you apart, gives you a powerful and memorable presence. Those in the back rows can see you and hear you, those in the front rows marvel at your audacity. The character you seem to have been born with is not necessarily who you are. Your parents, your friends and your peers have helped to shape your personality. The Promethean task of the powerful is to take control of the process, to stop allowing others that ability to limit and mold you. Remake yourself into a character of power, working on yourself like clay. For thousands of years, only kings and the highest courtiers had the freedom to shape their public image and determine their own identity. The rest of mankind played the limited role that society demanded of them and had little self-consciousness. Observance of the law Julius Caesar made his first significant mark on Roman society in 65 BC when he assumed the post of Edal, the official in charge of grain distribution and public games. He began his entrance into the public eye by organizing a series of carefully crafted and well-timed spectacles, wild beast hunts, extravagant gladiator shows, theatrical contests. To the common man, Julius Caesar became indebitably associated with these much-loved events. As he slowly rose to obtain the position of consul, his popularity among the masses served as the foundation of his power. Julius Caesar was perhaps the first public figure to understand the vital link between power and theatre. He said his lines as if they had been scripted. He gestured and moved through a crowd with a constant sense of how he appeared to his audience. Like him, you must arrange to place yourself at the centre to command attention. Being aware of yourself as an actor, and taking control of your appearance and emotions. Adopt the plasticity of an actor who can mold his or her face to the emotion required. A character that compels attention, that stands out above the other players on the stage. The man who intends to make his fortune in this ancient capital of Rome must be a chameleon, susceptible of reflecting the colors that surround him. He must be patient, flexible, always concealing a part of his knowledge, as cold as ice when any other person would be all fire. The man whose soul would loathe such a life should leave Rome and seek his fortune elsewhere. Giovanni Casanova Reversal There can really be no reversal to this critical law. Bad theater is bad theater. Even appearing natural requires an art. In other words, acting. Bad acting only creates embarrassment. Of course, you should not be too dramatic, but that is simply bad theatre anyway. In essence, there is no reversal to this law.